She was my first meaningful relationship after I was pronounced dead twice. What could she right. possibly be lying about that could shock him? How bad could it be? Whoa! Suspects charged in homicide. Hey, Neve and Max, my name is Robert. I'm 23 years old and live in... Havre. Havre de Grave. Is that a place? Until last summer, I was in a relationship with a girl named Ashley. Ashley's 22 years old and lives in Tennessee. I met Ashley on meetme.com. And for two years, we spoke on the phone and messaged every day. Last summer, I told Ashley that I wanted her to move up to Maryland and marry me. She seemed to be into it, but then said she had something to tell me. Hmm. She admitted she was lying about who she was, and the picture she sent me were fake. Fake news. I was honestly so heartbroken and pissed off that I tried to forget about her. I didn't hear from her for months, but on Christmas, she started to message me again. I wanted to start things back up and try to meet her, but my health got in the way. It always does. Uh, basically, my you know, immune system attacked itself, and it swelled my spine in two places and it paralyzed me. Doctors told me and my mom that my body is becoming immune to the antibiotics and they said that he's going to die. So I was, you know, just kind of terrified with that. In 2014, I went to cardiac arrest. I flatlined dozens of times. I was pronounced dead twice in a coma for four days. How did you go from being pronounced dead twice to meeting Ashley? I met Ashley while I was in a different nursing home, and we started talking. Her profiles would never have pictures and albums of, you know, a person. She would always send me the pictures of the girl that I was falling for. What does she look like? Blonde and really, really hot. You said, let's get married. But when she told me she wasn't who she said she was, I kind of like, OK, this is just too much. Why did you do that? Why did you? Because I was just already, like, heartbroken. Completely. Did you even give her a chance? Did you say, well, OK, so send me a photo of you? No, I don't even think I did that. You like, didn't I, even, like, try to No, I was kind of scared and just everything just, like, played back in my head. Do you have most of your text conversations? Uh, just a bit of it from when she was apologizing. So she said, hey, I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am for not just hurting you, but breaking your heart, too. You're such a kind-hearted person. I'm not looking for a reply or for you to forgive me. But even if you don't trust me, you still deserve an apology and explanation. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. She meant a lot to me because, you know, she was my first re meaningful relationship. And I just want to see if, you know, the feelings were real. What? What? Whoa. Gina. Gina. Late 50s. Ooh. And look, she's in Tennessee. Do a cut and paste search for her full name. Ashley in Tennessee. All right, do we have anything? Whoa! Whoa. Time Her out. full name? Suspects in homicide? They're from Tennessee. Ashley, 20 from Tennessee. Facilitation of first degree homicide? And this was two, two years ago. This girl is 22. 22. He thought that she might be inside all day. She could be in prison. Well, or it could be because she's not allowed to leave the state of Tennessee for legal reasons. Why don't we just skip to dessert on this one? Call Ashley. Hello. Hi, is this Ashley? Yeah, it is. Uh, my name is Neve. I'm making a show called Catfish. I don't know if you've heard of it on MTV. Yeah. What is this all about? Yeah, sorry, this must be a little weird. Um, I got your number uh, from your friend Robert in Maryland. He regrets that things kind of went the way they did and still would like to meet you and sort of... I don't of... think I can face him. Is there any other huge part of who you are that, that you lied to him about? I don't feel comfortable answering that. I don't want to go to Maryland. I'd at least like to meet you. I could probably fly to Knoxville later today and maybe tomorrow we could... Oh, my God, tomorrow? Yeah, no. well... Robert, you know, I mean, not to be overly dramatic, but like every day is is a gift for him. Okay, I'll meet you. Did Ashley ever mention anything like this, like a like a big issue in her past? No, nothing like that. Would you accept 
someone who was involved in a murder? I may not be every, everyone's type myself because of the disability, so everyone deserves a chance. Hi. Ashley, right? Yeah. Hi. Hey. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Uh, it's a going. You don't have any, like, strange criminal... No. Why, after your sort of first few weeks of talking, did you feel the need to send him photos of someone else? Um, when I was younger, I was bullied a lot. My mother put me down a lot, and I just felt like nobody would like me, and I felt like if I told him, he wouldn't want to be with me. Okay, so you haven't lied to him about your life, really? Mm -mm. Don't know if I'm ready to face him. But he likes you. He needs someone that's going to love him and want to take care of him. I helped take care of my mother before she passed for years. Right. And my dad has early on Alzheimer's. I helped take care of him. I really think meeting him would be great for both of you. Um. OK. Come on, princess. You're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> no, I'm so nervous. All right, man, this is it. No. Come on. Hi. 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 You OK? I don't feel yeah, like it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Max. Ashley. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I told you that I wasn't the girl in the pictures and that I was sorry. And I kept saying sorry. I was just scared. That's the only reason I disappeared. When you were talking to Robert, were your feelings for him genuine? Yes. And you know what kind of going out with him mm -hmm. would entail? Right, it's a, mm -hmm. it's, it's a commitment. I already take care of everybody else. Yeah, I mean, when Ashley's mom passed, passed. I, I helped take care of her for years, and I took care. Of, I still take care of my dad. She's a very caring person. Mm -hmm. And so it's been hard for Ashley because she felt like she had hurt you and that you were upset and didn't want to bother you. I was you. depressed, but I get over everything. I'm shocked. Bad shock or good shock? Don't know. Not your type? I don't know, just love hurts. I'm just scared. I'm like nervous, scared. Of what? Just falling harder and then being hurt worse. You got this girl. She's cool. She likes the same stuff you do. That checks a lot of boxes, you know? True. Scared getting her. What do you now that you've met and sort of hopefully put most, if not all, of the mystery and behind. confusion behind you? Like, what do you guys want moving forward? Friends at the least. Friends at the least. Friends so at the least. More, maybe. That's how you and do you I imagine. Mean. Well, that's yeah. good. Eve and I are going to step outside. Yeah. And We're you gonna... guys can kind of say goodbye to each right. other. Roberto. Good meeting you, man. We'll come through next time we're in the, in the hood. I... All right. I'll we'll, see you outside. We'll see you out in the car. Yeah. It took a lot to introduce myself. I had to put my mm. heart up on the shelf. I didn't know. That it could be so hard. That night I got home, I was. We were trying to be friends, and I just wish she would have been cool with it. But I let her know that I was, you know, talking to a girl. Whoa, is she local? She's local. She's like 30 minutes away. So you and Ashley haven't really talked in, in how long now? About a month. She got all pissy with me, and I just could not put up with it. It's just for the best. I can't deal with a lot of drama right now. Got to worry about my health, or I'm not going to be around. He pretty much disregards the fact that, like, I have feelings. I tried really hard to show that I care about him, and I love him, and he doesn't give a fuck. It really hurts, because you won't even recognize how I feel. Doesn't sound like you guys are meant to be together. Yeah. You deserve to be with someone who makes you feel good about yourself. And if that's not Robert, then it's not Robert.